today I'm gonna show you some of the unique locations that you might have missed while exploring the Hyrule region. So just grab some popcorn and come with me to explore more of the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go! So the first stop is Mount Naboru Well. This well is located on the very edge of Mount Naboru. And down the well, you can venture and witness a fascinating area filled with something magical. Now what you need to do is just go dive into this deep well, but don't worry because once you jump down, you'll go straight to the water. As soon as you get inside the well, you'll be greeted by lots of berries. Look at this! So magical and enchanting. Not only fairies, but you can also find glowing cave fish, hearty lizard, and high tail lizard. So make sure not to miss this location. Located just west of the Hyrule Castle, you'll find a tiny island with something interesting. Now if you look out there, there's an uncommon amount of mother crows all over this area. What you might not realize is that there is also a pile of stash items, materials and stuff that was broke by the mother crows around the area. So you can also look for things that you might need for your adventure. Seems like crows in Zelda are much more visionary than what we had here. <laughs> Moving on to number 3, we have the Satori Mountain Foothill. Now you may think that we're gonna go inside the cave, but actually, we're not going there. So we're going above the cave, which is a little island that has some interesting In this place, we can find a lot of different types of insects like butterflies and also lots of mushrooms that are scattered around the trees. This is also a suitable place to enjoy the sunset. Just look! Isn't it pretty? Now if you go to the west of Satori Mountain, you'll find a lake, which is Arutel Lake. Why do I put this on the list? It's because this lake is full of silent princes and nightshade flowers. So if you come here at night, you can see the glowing flowers that sure are really pretty. There's also fireflies around the lake, which makes it become more beautiful. Glowing flowers plus more light that reflects on the river? Perfection. If you go there at noon, you can also enjoy the view while looking at the ducks that swim around the river. So cute! Last but not least, we have the Sterny Dead Springs Cave in the northwest of Hebra. So you can try to squeeze into one of the cave entrances and find yourself in the magnificent area. As you go deeper into the cave, you'll find a boulder that actually has a secret entrance to your destination. After you crawl inside the hole, you'll find yourself in a beautiful looking place that is full of giant ice crystal that glows. It's an awesome spot for you to take selfies or just calm yourself down because it looks so quiet and peaceful. So that's all for today's video, if you have any interesting place that people might not know, you can drop the place in the comment down below. See you in the next video, bye!